going on everybody? It's your turn Crowbat here. You're turning into you today with another tutorial. This tutorial today is a well a tutorial on how to obtain sound hacks, how to obtain uh, the homebrew launcher. Now the reason why I'm making this video is because if you're a moron like me and updated your 3DS, you can't use Ocarina of Time. And that's the way I was using to uh, obtain the homebrew launcher. Um, and unfortunately, like I mentioned, I updated my 3DS. I needed a new way to get to the homebrew launcher so I can gen and do all that fancy good stuff. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen my other tutorials, then please make sure you check them out in the upper right hand corner. I will be showcasing them there. Uh, but for starters, what you're going to want to do just to get into this, uh, you are going to want to go to the homebrew launcher. Now, I'm going to be leaving a link to the homebrew launcher in the description, so make sure you go check that out because you're going to need it. And now all you need to do is just download the, ho uh, the homebrew starter kit, which is right down here. It's going to be right here, so you want to download the homebrew starter kit. Now, I have an example folder right here. You're going to want to place all these files I'm going to be telling you to download in the root or on the root of your SD card, meaning just pop in your SD card in there. You're going to want to put these files in there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just open that right up. Now, you just want to place this into your SD card. Um, too many windows, too many windows. Um, it might be easier actually if I just uh, go into the downloads folder just so I can drag and drop it because I kind of want to be safe now if you mess something up in this tutorial is really not a big deal like as your 3ds isn't going to brick or anything so don't worry about that but what you're gonna want to do is just drag and drop the homebrew starter kit and just extract it on the root of your SD card uh, if I can actually find extract extract here you're gonna want to do that and now that you have it, you can actually just delete the, uh, you know, the, I forget the program. But you want to delete it, <laughs> the WinRAR. And so now that you have that all set up, now all you want to do is just drag it to the root of the SD card like I mentioned. And uh, now you want to go to the most important thing right here. Now right here, you want to actually download your other app and, you know, the other app uh, payload. Meaning, I have 11.3. So, I would actually want to, I mean, I'm going to go to old, because I do have an old 3DS. Um, now, 11 point, and they actually have three now. Um, I'm not sure which one mine is. I think it's like 33 or something, but I already have it, so it doesn't really matter if uh, I download the wrong one. Um, it doesn't really matter, but you want to go into settings and just find the type of 3DS that you have, because you're going to want to input that right in here. And once you actually have this, I think mine's like J, I don't really know. But anyways, once you actually have uh, the information in right there, you want to download the other app. And now that you want, once you have that, um, I'm just going to, like I mentioned, I'm just going to put it in, in the download folder there. Uh, you want to actually drag and drop that to the root of the SD card right there. And you want to go to rename, and you really, really want to do this, guys. You really want to uh, rename it to other app, um, well, other app, dot bin, right there. Uh, just, it just recognizes it. It just recognizes it. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I actually had to find the website where you kind of have to download the next file. So, you're going to want to go to this website, just simply soundhacks.com. Yes, this is the audio file that you're going to need to put onto the root of your SD card. So you're going to want to click USA, and I like I mentioned, I do have an old 3DS. Um, but if you have a new 3DS, click that. If you have an old 3DS, click that. And you want to download the MP4 file. This is just the, uh, the audio file that SoundHacks will recognize, and it will, in fact, uh, just make, sure, make uh, you... A go into the homebrew launcher uh so now that you have those in on your root of the sd card then you're good to go you are good to go uh now i'll show you i'll show you what happens because now that you have everything situated now that you have the files on your sd card make sure you go ahead and just pop the your sd card back into your 3ds make sure you took your 3ds out i forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video but make sure you actually i don't think i did i did mention that you have to put it in the root of the sd card so you would have taken the sd card out so yep this is sound hacks everyone so make sure you go to nintendo 3ds sound um and it's going to be crashing uh, i mean not right now obviously but it will crash once you uh get everything 
into it. Yeah, yeah, I don't really care about that. Yes, I don't care about that. So now that you're on this screen right here, you are going to want to wait until the uh, the icons appear right here. You want to go to the SD card right there. And now you will see this right here. And that's perfectly fine because you're going to want to click on that. And it will crash right now. And it will bring you to the, well, homebrew page. It will bring you to uh, homebrew and the homebrew launcher. And that's pretty awesome. This is a really, really easy uh, way to get to the homebrew launcher, an easy way to actually get the homebrew launcher. Uh, it's just really, really simple, guys. It's so simple that even I can do it. Even I can do it. So that's got to be saying something, right? Um, but I hope that this video actually helped some of you guys to actually get to the homebrew launcher. Because like I mentioned, I did update my 3DS and you should not update your 3DS. Do not update your 3DS under any circumstances just do not do it because then you have to go searching for a new way to obtain the home launcher and it's a pain in the ass but this was an easy way to actually get to it and i wanted to share it with all of you so i hope it helps some of you but i'm gonna get the hell out of here i hope all of you have a great day i'll catch all of you all on the flip side